My name's Maya. I'm the oldest. I'm Alcione, the second oldest. My name is Electra. Selena. Tayegiti. Astropy. My name is Merope. I'm the youngest. I guess it all started with Artemis. She's the twin sister of Apollo. My sisters and I used to accompany her on her hunting excursions when we were younger, although I mostly just went to enjoy my time in nature. As I got older, I found that the only company worth keeping is my own, so I went to live by myself in Cape Arcadia, in the peace of Mount Kalim. It was here that I had my son Hermes, and I took on a motherly role as priestess and Arceus after she was turned into a bear. She lives in the sky now, too. I think my sisters would say that I'm usually the leader. I may be second born, but let's be honest, I'm just as good as Maya. We've always had a rivalry. When we were younger, it was who was prettier, and then who was the leader, and eventually I outshone her, and she went away. She still wished me the best though when I married the love of my life, Sayos. He's the son of the morning star. Oh, we were in love too. That man was the light of my life. I don't think I'd ever been so happy in my life, and it's such a shame that in one mistake it was all over. We call each other Zeus and Hera as a joke, and if anything, it was flattery because we were only comparing how happy we were in our relationship to theirs, but Zeus got angry. Sayux took to the sea on a trip that he had planned, and Zeus launched a thunderstorm onto him. His boat capsized, and he drowned, and the only thing I could do was throw myself into the sea and drown with him. Zeus saw this act of love and transformed us into seabirds to make amends for his actions. And so I took to looking over the Mediterranean Sea to keep it calm and safe and to make sure that this never happens to anyone else. On one of our hunting excursions with our dear friend Artemis, another hunter Orion fell in love with us and began to track us with horrible intentions. I had two sons with Zeus. He wanted more, but I didn't. So I took refuge in the statue of Pallas Athena, the divine protector of Troy. When Zeus found out, he got angry uh, and threw the statue. It landed somewhere near Troy. The fact that I didn't die and it didn't break, it's truly a miracle. So I dedicated the statue, which I honestly owed my life to Troy. When Troy fell, the place that I've come to love so much, it was the most devastating day of my life. I can only view Orion's decision to follow my sisters and I as a punishment, but I cannot for my life figure out what we've done to deserve it. I remember the day Troy fell. Electra vanished. It's sad, really, the way Zeus has affected so many people, like he's entitled to. He even wanted me to have his children, but I refused. I really value my independence. I mean, I lived in a cave. You can't get more independent than that. Although, I guess my eldest sister Maya also lived in a cave. So maybe I'm just following in her footsteps. Nah. <laughs> but as I was saying, I refuse Zeus, which if you know Zeus, does not go over well. I ran to Artemis for help and she metamorphosed me into a doe with golden horns. Not too shabby, right? No person could be so cruel just to do that. It got to the point where Artemis was concerned for our safety. So she asked Zeus, her father, to protect us. But she couldn't protect us from Zeus. Yes, they say I'm a demon, but they don't have anything to back that up. I mean, how fair is that, really? To get off on calling a woman something horrible just because you don't want to see it in yourself? A demon. If a million dollars was considered taboo, we'd be calling women that too. 
wish I could say that I did more than give birth with 3D men, but just like my sisters, I couldn't escape that fate. I had children with Poseidon and Prometheus. Then, to really drive the dagger in, Theon the Younger, a male scholar, determined that my star shines less brightly just because I was struck by lightning. <laughs> how dare he assume that something happened for me to shine less brightly? That it wasn't my choice? And how dare he assume that it was because of a man? Zeus, the god of lightning. So in his first attempt to protect us, Zeus turned us into doves. Orion was undeterred by this and still trapped us. He wanted all of us, but he had an especially severe infatuation with Merope, even though she wanted nothing to do with him. I'm one of the weaker sisters. At least that's what people say. Perhaps because I didn't reprimand my son for loving his daughter. I was loved by Ares, and we had a son named Onomaeus, and he became the king of Pisa. I didn't mean for this to happen. I, I really didn't. Onomaeus fell in love with his daughter, and he killed 13 of her suitors. I just, I don't know. I, I really didn't mean for this to happen. Eventually, Orion came especially close to finding us, so Zeus turned us into stars. Now we're known as the Pleiades constellation. I fell in love with a mortal, Sisyphus. I really loved him. I had his children, and I thought he loved me, but I suppose the love I had for him was conditional. I became ashamed of his behavior so caught up in his own personal glory that he didn't even honor the gods. Looking back, I've never met someone so disrespectful and selfish. It's always about him. It's never about me or the children. Eventually, the gods took notice and punished him. I can't really blame them for it. They destined him to roll a heavy stone up a hill until it reached the edge of heaven. The stone always rolled back. He was trapped in this eternal retribution he was never going to escape from. My life dinged from shame and embarrassment. Somehow, Orion managed to become a constellation and he followed us across the sky, but he can never quite reach us. Now and forever we live in fear that one day he will catch us. He wasn't even that good of a hunter. Oh, I was the best hunter. Are you kidding me? But even the most superior of people have their tragedies. My tragedy was the worst. See, I love this girl, but she just never loved me. But I followed her across the world. Proclaiming my love. She ignored me. How can someone be that ungrateful? The amount of effort that went to waste. My time went to waste. And for what? So then she can play hard to get. She shouldn't be so full of herself. She wasn't even that great anyway. Not as great as me. Did I mention I was the greatest hunter that ever lived? Even Zeus's wife was jealous of me. She sent down a little creature called, um, a scorpion. Yeah, I stepped on it and died. But the gods felt sorry for me as they should and they put me up in the sky with a bunch of little animals for me to hunt. But I'm still looking for that girl.